Hey guys, welcome back to Drew's Forge. Uh, as I said in the last episode, it's time for Project J. Uh, you've heard me talk about Jay before. He's the gentleman who's the father of a coworker of mine who donated a whole bunch of stuff for me to do this. So, Jay, this is your project. We're going to make you a knife. I don't know what style yet. We're going to go design it here in a minute, but uh, uh, this is a uh, 5160 leaf spring. It is metal that is very, very hard to move. Uh, it's what I made the uh, the Logan Project knife out of, so I know it's good steel. Uh, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do for yours. Uh, I wanted, let me set that down, it's a bit heavy. I wanted to make you a Damascus knife, uh, but I failed. I, I gave it a shot. That that was my that was my goal. Uh, so instead, I got to use a mono steel, but I'm still gonna make it kind of special. So uh, yeah, let's get to the designing part. Okay, Jay, let's design your knife. So I think what I'm gonna go for is a sax style knife, which the blade. It's going to come out like so, if this pen would work. Here we go, so this will be the blade, then it comes down like this, to the point. This will be straighter, <laughs> I'm not an artist. Uh, then this is the guard. Uh, I'm gonna do what's called, I'm probably gonna mispronounce this, it's called makugami, where you take copper, and nickel and forge them together and you get this nice little swirly pattern sounds kind of cool I'm gonna make it a bit cooler because I found out that Jay is interested in uh, old coins so for the copper and nickel I'm gonna take a stack of quarters boom 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 like so weld them and then smash down and that'll be my Makugami, so it'll be made out of coins. Uh, the handle's not gonna be nothing special. I am gonna go with what they call a through tang. So it won't be a full tang, it's gonna be a through tang. It's gonna come out like this. So then your handle will be like so. So here's the guard. Guard. Uh, then I have some ultra, not ultra, but very rare World War II pennies, which if you're a coin buff, kind of how I am, so, you know, yay for that, uh, they weren't made out of copper, they were made out of steel because the military needed the copper, and they did it for three years, so I believe that the dates are 1941, 42, and 43, so those are the, those are the pennies, but on each side of the handle, because I have a couple of them, I'm going to inlay steel pennies and then that's going to be on each side with your pins to hold your handle together and then I'm going to either do a pommel or a butt cap I'm probably just going to do a butt cap but it's going to be the same as this right here it's going to be the makugami but I'm gonna try to to teardrop uh, kind of shape it so it's more of like a skull buster I don't know it could just end up being you know, just a little butt cap. That's gonna. That's a tang right there. So, and then I think I'll try my first fuller, which will run this way on your knife. So, uh, yeah, that's my plan. Uh, you know what? The more I'm looking at, I don't think this. We're not doing a broke. We're not doing the sex. You know what? With all this coin and everything, I think. If we did more of a camp style knife, that, that looks more like a kukri. There's a bump right there. <laughs> uh, more of a camp style knife where it's got a belly and then it comes back into the guard. Like so. And then the tip will flare up just, just a bit. I think that'll look better. Yeah, and then you still run the fuller across the back there. I'll take some weight out of it. 
the Makugami guard, which will probably be shaped some. This is a side view, something like this. So it, it kind of dips down to, to cover your your finger. Or should I do it an S? I think I'll do it an S. I think I'll bring this side up. Yeah, we'll bring this side up and do it like that. So it gives it a little bit more flair. Uh, haven't decided the wood to use yet. Uh, I'm gonna make a trip to Home Depot and see if I can find something really cool looking. But yeah, we're gonna go with camp style blade with the Makugami butt cap and guard and the inlaid World War II pennies. I think this is gonna be freaking cool, man. So there it is. Project J and then autograph it. So if it ends up on eBay, let's light the forge. Oh. Got the extension cord. <clears throat> well, first thing I had to do is cut this down to size because I just dropped a hammer on my toe. Oh, good lord. Good thing it wasn't the big one. Uh, <laughs> so I'm actually going to cut about that much. And then uh, that's going to be your knife. I mean, I could do this, but I don't know how to make swords yet. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to be, this is what's going to turn into your knife. Um, let's get to cutting. Uh, that's a thick piece of steel right there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Um, it bogged out my grinder. Like, yo! Uh, need to upgrade some tools. Definitely. But yeah, so now we got a manageable piece. And uh, we're going to fire up the forge and start making a knife. Joy! Okay, so it's just about up to heat. First thing we're going to do is try to condense metal in and draw it, draw it out. So, because right now it's square, we want it to make it more of a rectangle. So, yeah, I'm going to give that a shot because this is a big honking piece of metal. It's taking a, it's taking a long time to heat up, but we're almost there. Alright, here we go.
Okay, so my welded on handle broke. So I gotta re-weld it. This should be interesting. I've never re-welded this hot of steel before. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm calling it there. I've been beating on this for over an hour, and that's how much it's been reduced. Not much. Uh, as I said, 5160 is very hard to work, uh, but it's good steel. So, that's it for this one. Uh, I'm just beat. It's gonna Jay. It's gonna be a little bit of a long one. It's hot. But, I feel great because I'm back to smithing and I haven't been able to do it with everything that's going on in life as much. Uh, but hey, I enjoyed today. So that was Project J part one. Uh, join us next time for part two where we continue to uh, draw out this massive piece of steel uh, and I gotta quiet my anvil it rings very very loud uh, so yeah but as always thanks for watching uh, like share subscribe all that if you want to help out the channel links are to my PayPal for donations and my Etsy store if you want to buy something and uh, yeah catch you the next one guys later